For the third and final part of activity 414, you need to make the worm gear mechanism that you can see in the lower right there. So make sure you're on the worm gear tab of your document. And then if we go up to insert, we're gonna insert some of the parts that we need for this. So let's get two of these two by two plates. And then two of the one by two corner connectors. four of the one by one pins. Ooh. And then I'm gonna get the four by four plate. We just need one of those. So just place all that and then we're gonna click okay. We will get the other things after we get done kind of assembling this base for now. So let's right click on the four x four plate, choose fix so it's locked in place. And then I'm gonna move the two x two plate out of the way a little bit. So we'll connect the corner connectors next and I'm gonna just kind of position them a little bit closer to where they need to be. So this one will connect into the, ba the back kind of left corner here on these two pins and then this one on the two pins on the right here. So let's go ahead and flip this because when we position it on the base plate, it will be positioned like this with this part on the inside, just like it's positioned now. This one, we need to flip upside down like that. And then this part, this flat part here needs to actually flip around to the other side. So we're gonna flip it around this way, 180 degrees as well, like that. So those are now positioned kind of how they will actually be oriented on the plate here. So let's go ahead and get these connected. I'm going to apply a fastened constraint. So go up to fastened mate. And then I'm going to zoom in here. This pin will be the one in the corner. So I'm going to click on the uh, circle for this kind of raised part of the connector, the top part of that on the middle. And then we're going to click on the corner, the top part of that hole, and then click OK. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let me just kind of flip upside down here again and then get that raised part, the center. Oop. And then get the center hole and then click okay. All right, so there are our corner connectors. Next, we're gonna add the blue pins into each of the four holes. So uh, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. So this raised part right here, we wanna get the center of that, which is this. So click that. And then I'm gonna start just with this hole right here, just as long as you're on the end of that hole in the center. Now, if you notice, there's some interference here, so we need to flip our axis. So click that so that the whole pin kind of sticks out like this. And you can kind of see the, the other little bit on the end there. Click okay. And then we'll just repeat that three more times. Okay, I'm gonna click home here. All right, our next part will be to get the two by two plates on those connectors. So I'm just gonna move these a little bit closer. And then I'm gonna rotate them up 90 degrees. So they're positioned how they will be on the pins. Okay, next we'll go to a fastened mate and then I'm just going to click on actually flip this to the back here because that's where it will connect with the pin and then I'm going to click on this hole on the end that will be the corner hole so that's this pin and then similar to how we connected this to the corner connector click on this kind of raised part here in the middle and then that will connect it same thing on the other side here so this hole will be the one on the end I'm gonna to flip to the back of that. Click on the back of that hole. 
And then same thing with this pin and that raised part in the middle. And then click OK. Close out of that. All right, we now have the base of this mechanism done. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to our insert menu to get some of our other parts. So we will need, for the worm gear part, we will need a four inch shaft and the worm gear. And then for the spur gear, we will need a two inch shaft a shaft bushing and a 36 tooth gear and then close out of that let's go ahead and position our worm gear on the axle first so i'm going to click fastened and then i'm just going to click on the center circle on the top of the worm gear and then the top of the axle and then let's position this in the middle of the axle using an offset so on the Z, I'm going to say about two inches. And that went the opposite direction, so I need to flip the axis. And if you notice, that's not quite in the center. So I'm going to go back. Let's try two and a half. It's a little bit too far, so I'm going to change that, I think, two and a quarter, 2.25. That looks good to me. Click OK. Let's rotate over here and we will do the same thing for our spur gear. So fastened, center, and then the axle. And then again, let's add a offset. I'm gonna do an offset of one inch and flip the axis and then click okay. All right, so let's get our, I'm gonna close out of our mate or fasten mate menu there. Go ahead and uh, get our, um, worm gear shaft in here that will go through this hole here and then this one on the other side and that's going to be a cylindrical mate so i'm going to click cylindrical and then i'm going to click on the end the top of the axle here and then on the end of this hole and then i'm going to click ok all right and if you notice it is kind of uneven right now but because it's a cylindrical constraint uh, we can move it. So if you close out of this menu and then just move it by hand, you should be able to slide it kind of into position. Okay, so the cylindrical constraint will allow you to that movement and then it also will allow the to rotate. Okay, so we'll just kind of move it into position manually for now. All right, the next part that we need is the shaft bushing. This connector pin is going to go into this hole right here and it's going to allow that the shaft bushing to spin. So that needs to be a rotational constraint. So I'm going to click on a revolute. All right. And then I'm going to click on the center of this kind of like raised circle here like that. And then click on the top part of this hole right here. And then we need to flip that and then click OK. And then close out of this and then just make sure that this can spin. All right, next we need to put the shaft in that hole. So I'm gonna click Fasten Mate. I'll just flip upside down here to get the bottom part of the shaft and then flip back and get the inside of our bushing and then click OK. All right, now if you notice our uh, gear is a little bit off it needs to come down a little bit so we'll uh we'll adjust that offset i'm going to move the worm gear a little bit over this way so it's closer to meshing with the the gear so this gear right here was the fastened 10 and then that offset was right here when we positioned that uh to one so i'm going to say let's say 1.25 that looks to be close enough. So we'll just click OK with that. All right, and now to get it so that the teeth are not overlapping, if you just zoom in here a little bit so you can see it closer, and then what you can do is just slide the worm gear so that it's kind of fitting in between the spur gear teeth like that so there's no interference there, okay? All right, and then what we're gonna do to get the uh, relation here is uh, we're gonna use another gear relation. 
So I'm going to click gear relation and then you want to click the cylindrical constraint and then the revolute constraint. All right, now the ratio here is that every single time that the worm gear turns, that is one tooth um, for the um, spur gear. So we want a gear relation of one to 36. Okay, and then just click the check mark. Now that kind of moved our gears a little bit. So what we just did to kind of position this, you might need to go back in here and sort of move this a little bit. But after you do that to animate this, let me flip this. To animate this, you wanna right click on your cylindrical constraint and go down to animate. And it's gonna give you two options because remember a cylindrical constraint can either move side to side along the axis, like along the axle like this, or it can rotate around the axle. So I'm gonna choose the top one, the one that has the circle, because we want it, we want the worm gear to spin on the axle. So click the top one there. Okay, and then change that to loop, and then click play. All right, and you will notice that that will spin the worm gear, which rotates the spur gear.